The obligatory driving clip. That means it has to be a Flea Market Adventures episode. Groovy. So, back again. Number 16, I'd say almost 10 of these episodes have all been at the Sinistash Flea Market. We love coming here because if you go in the back where all the uh, regular quote-unquote poor tables are, you know, where people are just coming to be Sunday warriors, this is the best place to come find all the stuff. So this week we took our uh, two nephews on Dallas's side, Bowen and his brother Ren. They're out looking for toys and especially Transformers Generation 1 G1s. Ren is the younger brother, so we can put him through the smaller cracks between tables to look for all the toys. Heck of a hockey player, too. First game basket of the day, Atari 2600 cartridges. Technically, I guess my first console, even though it belonged to my father. I love Donkey Kong and River Raid. Two of my favorite games, even to this day, on the 2600. I usually like to pay about two bucks per game, but this one was five dollars each. A little too much for me. Then we come across a ColecoVision system with uh, one controller. I'm not sure if all the wires were there. I didn't see the big brick and a few games. The guy wanted $75. You know, if you don't have it, yeah, it's still a high price for me. I'd rather spend 5 bucks on these NES games. And the boys are still looking for G1s. This table was pretty interesting. It was an older man and his wife, and they had some old collector's toys in the boxes, and they were in pretty decent shape. He didn't say why he was selling them, but uh, everything he said that he had owned for a few decades, and he just thought now was the time to sell it. $80 wasn't a crazy price for how much it goes for on eBay, but still, I thought about it, getting it for my father. Now this table, I really wish the video didn't cut out. I don't know why, because I have plenty of storage on my phone. But, you know, I just didn't have the whole clip when it came to editing, but this table was full of uh, reproduction carts and a lot of those 501s, and he was asking $60, $70 for each of them. Do yourself a favor, go pick one up for $10 on AliExpress. Mm -hmm. Alright, ring for the camera what you guys found. With no head. For me, this is a jackpot, especially if I'm going to be selling again at the uh, K-Town Collectors Expo. These are a whole bunch of LJN WWF wrestling superstars. Kamala? What the heck are you doing, Kamala? There was uh, a good handful of them here. The woman wanted $8 each, but I wound up just grabbing one and I got it for $6. The old, I only got $6 in my pocket trick. Later that day after we dropped off the boys, we had a quick stop at the Dollarama. Between 2 and $4 for most of the toys, and a lot of these are good name brand now. There's Marvel, there's DC, you see uh, some good Tomei stuff, NHL. Um, look, we have Life of Pets here, there's always Hot Wheels, Star Wars. They have, you know, if you're collecting on a budget, I've said it before, the dollar store... Oh, that Dallas, she's hilarious. The dollar store is a great place to get your geek on for cheap. Highly recommended the 12th game I beat this year, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. If you loved the first four Castlevanias, the NES and the Super NES games, do yourself a favor, play that one. And speaking of great accomplishments, Arkham's hello. starting to walk! Hello, let me try it, eh? Now, this game is a really good shmup, like, I, I love shmup games, or shmup, god, I guess. Start over! Start over! MT Shark 7 this is my YouTube recommendation of the week. This guy does awesome pickups. He's a whiz at rebuilding consoles. Check him out. MT Shark 7. Now the next day being Sunday, 
turned out to be a great day. We went to go have some awesome barbecue and a guy I know from high school who was actually one of the founders and organizers for the K-Town Collectors Expo was having a yard sale with all of his collectibles and these are just his doubles. Uh, Eric had a lot of great stuff out on his table. I wish I had more money on me because there was uh, a lot of things that I left that I wish I, I kind of regretted when I got home but for how much I spent and what I got, I was really happy, and I was lucky enough to check out his garage. If you look back there, this is like a store. Like, you have to step over things. He's got awesome figures, you know, like doubles, triples of stuff. And, uh, you know, he was just selling his uh, extras just to go to another convention the following day as well. So, uh, you know, uh, I'm really happy with the stuff that I got. Check out this guy's shelves. And, uh, Eric, you know, thanks a lot for the deals if you're watching. And uh, hopefully you do another one, because I definitely want to get back in your garage, dude. So I'm sure Eric won't mind me sharing his story, how he got into toys. We were looking at all his shelves, and uh, if you're watching this channel, you know that I'm predominantly into video games. And the way Eric started was, he was mostly into comic books. He was out at a yard sale or a flea market, he bought some comics, and the guy threw in a few toys with it. He got home and just, you know, Google searched what the figure was and what it was from, its value, and he just, you know, he struck gold, he got a really good figure, and it was something that he remembered from his childhood. So he kind of put the comics on the side, and he started collecting toys, and he's been going for almost a decade now, and look at his garage, it's, you know, it's fantastic. This video does not do it justice, guys, like, I definitely need to go back again. Eric, if you're watching, please invite me over again. And all the things I picked up from June 2nd to the 10th. And I didn't break the bank on this because I spent all of my change. I went to Coinstar after their 11%. I got $112. So pretty much everything was paid for with my change. So Kamala from six bucks, for 6 bucks from the flea market. 50 cents. This was a very rough Jurassic Park 3 all-terrain trapper jeep. Grabbed it anyway. A couple of assorted dolls that I didn't get on video, but we found a Teddy Ruxpin, a Grubby, and a Ronald McDonald toy. They were all in bags. The guy wanted $80 for everything all together. We wound up getting a super deal. Dallas pulled that one off. This is a friendly warning, guys. Do not spend money on this. I spent 25 bucks on this garbage. The Dangerous 70s Lawn Darts, $3 from the yard sale. A talking whiz kit, it works, and it comes with card deck number one. One dollar, as is. Like I said, it does work. Quite happy. I'm finding these all over now. Um, I'm going to have a few to sell. Return of the Jedi. Pick this one up for eight dollars. Apparently, it's the Canadian version. It's plastic, not tin. And uh, as a freebie, I didn't get the Star Wars uh, thermos, but I got Buck Rogers. Fisher Price School Days Desk, 1972. Dallas picked this one up. Eight bucks. This one's complete without the box. Speaking of only a box, though, 50 cents yard sale. This was uh, in my town. First thing I picked up from Eric. This is Jetfire. He's missing his arms. Got it for five dollars. Uh, I've already seen on eBay. I am gonna pick up the arms. Also, the uh, Kenner Ecto One Ghostbusters. It comes with uh, three of the four guys from the cartoon. Only missing Ray. Hopefully I'll be able to find him. I have three pieces now for my Voltron. Picked up the Blue Lion, $5 again from Eric. This was some yard sailing a few days before, I think on the second. These were a buck each. Don't really care for the heads, they're probably going to get recycled, but the swords should trade or sell. This surprisingly works very well. A knockoff PXP3 Slim. It's got a lot of uh, NES classics on it. It comes with two 9001 cartridges. Golden State Warrior hat, $2 snapback. You know, my buddy's a Cavs fan, so I left it on his front step. Picked up a bunch of records. This is uh, the Ink Spots Volume 2. It's got uh, I Don't Want to Set the World on Fire. Tommy the Movie, The Who. Caddyshack, a lot of uh, songs by Kenny Loggins. This is from the uh, 1980s. Love that movie. The Beatles, Abbey Road. Uh, it's a little haggard, the cover, but, you know, it's the Beatles. Elvis, Aloha from Hawaii. Love that cover art. 
The Wizard of Oz, you know, I picked this up, I thought it would be a hidden gem, but it's another reissue, but, you know, I'll give it a spin. Grabbed the two of them for eight bucks, the woman wanted five dollars each, wound up getting a little deal. Mario Duck Hunt combo cart number like 50. Bought a camera as is, took a chance because it had the micro SD and a battery charger, works great. Walmart sale, I went back, the rest of them were gone, I should have bought more, but I got Snarl for 13 bucks. And then these were all from the Dollarama. These are uh, Imagine Dragons uh, baseball figures, Major League Baseball figures. Four bucks each. Uh, apparently they still sell for 10 or $15 online, so I may keep them for the sale and see if I can get eight to $10 out of them. That's how we gotta do it now, guys. Also, with the DC Comic Universe, these still go for $20 in Walmart. I double checked. These are the Suicide Squad versions of it, but I got Diablo and the uh, uh, the military guy, Flag. I also stopped at a Goodwill, picked up a few things, a bag full of steering wheels and zappers for the Wii. Uh, $3 for Mario Andretti Racing. I don't know, it was a video game, so I grabbed it. I don't know if I should have spent $3 on it. Uh, this is also my last week at Gordonia Nuha. I'm transferring back to Cadre, so the kids gave me some goodbye cards. And uh, that's going to do it for this week. So uh, as my daughter would say, bye, Felicia. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this at all, guys, give this video a like. If you want to see more, maybe hit that subscribe button. Did you find anything cool at the yard sales or the flea market this weekend? Let me know down in the comments. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I'll see you in about a week, week and a half. Take care.